Hi everyone. Um, I thought I would put together a video today um, and show you what's in my backpack. I have it down to 32 pounds without the water and like five-ish days of food. Um, so I'll unpack that today and air it all out, make sure I have everything I need for next weekend's trip. And um, I'll show you what's in there. Everybody's been really curious about my trip. Um, I've been preparing for a long time and I think I have all the gear I need now. Uh, so I'm getting ready to go on a backpacking trip next weekend. I thought I would uh, just go through my bag and make sure I have everything I need for that trip. Um, so I thought I would show you the gear I'm taking. Um, this is my backpack. It's a 60 liter ULA circuit. Uh, it has a single aluminum stay, no frame. It's a roll down uh, bag. Uh, it carries nice. You have to adjust it every time you put it on, which is fine because it kind of adjusts with your load. Um, right now, fully loaded with five days of food and no water, it's 32 pounds. Um, water is really heavy, so add about, you know, maybe even up to 10 more pounds um, just with the water. Um, I am using um, trekking poles. I have one covered with Luco type tape and one with duct tape. These are just Costco style. I don't know. They were like 60 bucks at Costco a couple years ago. I've replaced the bottoms. I have a new set of tips to take with me. Um, they're not lightweight, um, but I'm used to carrying them already, so I'm taking those. Two pairs of Ultra uh, Lone Pine. This is the fifth uh, model. Lone Pine Five Lone Peak. Anyway, Ultra, whatever they are. They're comfortable. They're um, no drop. I have two pairs. They go about 500 miles before they start to give out. Uh, this is the Nemo Switchback. my bed I will be sleeping on. It's heat reflective so that goes on the bottom and then it has all these little pockets where the heat is trapped. Um, so that's supposed to help. I mean you're sleeping on the ground. Uh, I have an air mattress that I can blow up that I take on shorter trips but I was talked out of that for this trip just in case it pops out there. At least I, if with this it doesn't pop and I always have the same night of sleep so that's important. Uh, also on the outside of the pack here, I have my camp shoes. These are not exactly the ones I'm taking with me, but I'm taking some with me that I can cross the river in and they won't fall off. They're on their way. Um, and I'm taking yak tracks. I'm only doing the Cascades this trip, so I don't imagine I'll be higher than 8,000 feet. Um, and in the summertime, it's pretty dry out there, so I'm just taking these as a safety precaution. I hope I don't need them. On the outside of my pack, I also have uh, my tent stakes. And I did upgrade and get the ultralight tent stakes. That was an extra $28 for the set, but I found it worth it because just as I'm training, it's uh, really heavy and every ounce is really important. So I'm gonna set up my tent for you also. So get that out. Also on the outside of the pack, I have a bug net that just goes over my head. Mosquitoes are fierce. I have a can of bear spray. Um, problem hikers have left trails of food for the bears around Bernie Falls, so I'm taking bear spray with me and uh, I'm carrying two of these smart water bottles. On the other side of the pack, I've added a shoulder holder for the water bottle. That's my other smart bottle. I have a garment 
InReach SE Plus. This is basically a satellite phone. I can send text messages. It tracks my trip. It sends SOS if I need it. It um, stays um, charged. It has 100 charging hours, so I feel pretty safe out there most of the time. Uh, that's important. That's the main reason why my kids are letting me do this is this thing. prescription sunglasses those were a splurge and I'm super happy about them and I have a night core I don't know headlamp I don't I, I'll put the links attached to the videos of everything that I can find anyway just, I just found it on Amazon super bright and it has a red light and then in this uh, pocket I have my favorite snacks these think bars are amazing amazing they're so good so i always have those and i have a half dome plus one rei you know can't go wrong with the rei brand it's not light it's like four pounds. It was $250. I'm carrying a knock water bag, three liter, with a Cadian Bee Free water filter. So I scoop it out of the river, roll it down into the bottle, clean water. That's the plan. I also have a Sawyer. Um, I also have a Sawyer filter, but I like this brand better, so I'm gonna go with this the first time. And Sawyer is my backup. This is an Ursac. This uh, is a critter bag, bear bag. Uh, I have a titanium long-handled spoon that I'm taking. This bag is made of bulletproof uh, material, and so the critters can't get into it, mainly the mice is the problem. Uh, inside I'll have enough food for uh, the stretch that I'm going on. I also have my little kitchen, which I can show you that set up, and the fuel. It's like a Mary Poppins bag, it never stops. And then I have three different the blocks here. This one's dinner. And we'll go through the food in another time. Oops. And then this one is going to be breakfast, pop tarts, and oatmeal. Delicious. So that's the food situation. It's light, but the more you eat, This is my clothing bag. It's pretty heavy. I'm going to figure out how to lighten this one down. Uh, I hate being cold, so they say you pack your fears, and I gotta figure out that situation. Because I sleep cold, I also have a bag liner. This is a Cedar Summit Reactor 15 degree bag, so it adds 15 degrees to my sleeping bag. bag I took out of the stuff sack that it comes in that makes it a cylinder so that it can fill the bag and all the crevices and then I have a bag liner that I roll it up in so it stays dry and then I have a marmot 30 degree women's mummy bag it's, uh, synthetic not down but down makes me sneeze uh, so that's that and I'll show you the tent setup situation you know, as I picked up that bag, I totally forgot there's a huge pocket on the front that's full of things. So let's go through that. Um, this huge pocket has a battery bank. That's a 20 milliamp battery bank and all the cords I need for the things I'm taking. My Garmin and my phone, my headlamp. Uh, this also needs the charge cord, so lots of cords. 
Uh, I have a map, paper map. Each section of the trail has a map like this. And so not only do I have the map on my phone, but I also have it here. And so I study the maps all the time and I've made notes and each section, I'm mailing myself boxes, we'll go through that as well. Uh, but each section has a map and I'm gonna mail myself the map so I don't carry them all at once. I'm just carrying a little bit at a time, the section I'm in. There's no need to carry all of them all at once and I'm mailing myself packages anyway. At the very bottom of that pocket, I have a rain jacket. This is an REI rain shell. Um, oh, excuse me, it's not REI. It's Outdoor Research. A uh, rain shell that I got at my friend's uh, Wonderland gear shop in Ballard. It's an amazing storm she goes in. And this is my poop kit. I have hand sani, wet wipes, and a trowel, and an extra garbage bag in there so I can haul out my toilet paper that I use because it's not biodegradable, people. And then this is. I'm just using um, plastic for everything. I know that's bad, sorry, but it's lightweight and dependable, so. Well, this is my first aid kit. I have a bag of Band-Aids, an alcohol wipe. Uh, there is an antibiotic ointment in there. I should probably add that maybe. A comb and some hair ties, because I have long hair. Some sun and lotion. I also will be wearing a sun shirt the whole time because I don't want skin cancer. This is a Modium and Tums for bad tummy. This is Dragon Balm from my cousin with CBD. So that'll help for alley joints and ankles. This is iodine water purifying tablets that will save my life if I need it. Here is the medicine cabinet here. We've got Allegra and Benadryl, 600 milligram ibuprofen and um, diclofenac, and some allergy meds. <laughs> goes in there. I'm just taking exactly what I need if I were to make it through the day. What do I need to get through the day? This is permethrin. I think I'm going to treat my tent. I need to read up on how to do that still. This is a repair kit for my tent. DEET. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. And a rawology cork ball for massaging those sore, sore muscles. Your first aid kit when you go backpack. What am I forgetting? Is there anything I must take? I also I'm taking an ankle brace. Um, that'll be in my clothing bag. Okay, that is that for the backpack. Also, the backpack weighs about uh, 1.9 ounces. It's not very heavy at all. It's just like a Dyneema fabric. It's really great. I'm gonna set up the tent and I'll show you that. My tent is a lot of pieces, but that's what I have and that's what I like. So I also find in Washington, condensation happens and so it's really important to have a two wall tent. So I start with the footprint actually. The cool thing about this is that the tent poles are all one.
with a like a hot plate, a scrubber, a Tokes titanium long handled spoon, a lighter, Cita Summit cup, it's cozy for my pot, and a stuff sack to hold it all, except the fuel. It's a pocket rocket stove I got from a coworker. Mm. It works really great. Thank you.